This is David Rothenberg. Fifteen years ago, I first started playing my clarinet live with birds. Here I'm playing with a white-crested laughing thrush in the National Aviary in Pittsburgh. This bird really seems to be getting into it. Like he really hears what I'm playing and kind of sings right along. At that moment, I realized you could really use music to communicate with other species. Together, we could make a kind of music that no one species could make alone. Now, 15 years later, I've come back to the National Aviary. And look, the laughing thrushes are still here. One of these is actually the same bird who was back there 15 years ago. And he still likes the sound of the clarinet, still wants to jam along. So, since those days, I've also been going out into the wild to try and play along with birds in their natural habitat. Last spring, I went into the parks of Berlin in Germany to play along with nightingales, singing their long, beautiful, rhythmic, scratchy, strange songs in the middle of the night. And I brought my friend Korhan Erel, a Turkish musician. He plays sampler, he plays iPad, electronic things. We, we were sampling the birds' own songs, playing them right back to them, and it just made the nightingales wanting to sing more and more. So we recorded a whole album of this. It's called Berlin Bulbul. Bulbul means nightingale in Turkish. And this record's coming out this spring, coming out next month. At the same time, we're going to be in various places around Europe doing more live concerts together with nightingales. And we'd love it if you come join us. We'll be in Berlin, we'll be in London, we'll even be in Istanbul, and even around New York, although we don't have any nightingales here, there'll be something similar. So please uh, help support this project and maybe join some of these live uh, musical encounters with birds and humans and really show and be part of this be part of this whole project to use music to communicate from the human world to the more than human world